Hey Math 31, I had a question from a classmate on how to do number 49, so I wanted to do a little screencast of how to do that. So the directions in this problem say to take this equation, and let me just highlight it, we are given this equation, and it is asking us to go ahead, oops, let me change colors, to solve for h. So if I want to solve for h, if I take a look at it right now, Right now the equation is solved for v. So you can see I actually have v over here isolated and solved for. And I'd like to solve for h. So if I look on the right side of this equation, you see I have pi times r squared times h. So if I want to isolate h, I need to get rid of the pi and the r squared on the right side of the equation. And because they're being multiplied, I would undo that with division. And you can go and either order. You can divide by the pi first and then the r squared, or you could divide by the r squared first and then the pi. It doesn't really matter. You also could opt to do both of them at the same time. And I'll, I'll do that. I'll, let me, I'll make a little note to myself. I'll do this on the side here together. We'll, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But let me erase my work right now, and I want to follow the directions I have. So if I divide both sides of this equation by pi, Initially, you can see that the pi's cancel out here, and I'm left on the right side with r squared h, and then I have v over pi on the left side. And that's all fine and good, but I still don't have h isolated. So if I want to isolate h, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to divide both sides by r squared. All right, And then you can see that the r squareds cancel out, and that leaves me with just the h. All right, and I, I flipped the side, so I wrote that over here. And you might be wondering, well, how does this expression turn into that? So let's do a little bit of work over here. If I have v over pi divided by r squared, that's like saying let's take v over pi and multiply it by the reciprocal. All right, I'm going to put a little spacer there. Well, when you have fractions that are being multiplied, you multiply the numerators, and then you multiply the denominators. So you see my fraction turning up of v divided by pi r squared, and that's exactly what I have over here. All right, now I did say you could do both of these at once, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick back over to this equation right here. So if we take a look, I could divide both sides here by pi r squared. I could divide both sides here by pi r squared. The pi r squareds cancel out. That leaves me with an h on this side and v equaling pi over r squared. And usually we write the variable that we're solving for on the left side of the equation. All right, it's not required, but I do want you to see where all of that's coming from. All right, so that's just a quick look at number 49. Um, again, if you have any other questions, just send me a submission comment and I'll, I'll make a little video for you. All right, thanks so much. Bye.